Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am here at my base, and you'll notice I've got a diamond shovel with efficiency four and breaking three, and a diamond axe with mending on it. Yay! And a diamond sword with a lot of good stuff on there. Um, I have been pretty much all day since I woke up. What does that say? Oh, okay, that, that, that thing. I didn't even know that I had that. I've been there all day basically just basically trying to work my levels all the long, 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 long part of the day. Yeah, so here I am finally back at my base. I can finally get to work on my portal. Yay, and probably a tunnel that goes all the way down to the very bottom of the canyon. What, and I also want to change this up and put cobblestone back there along with cobblestone lighting stuff. That would be kind of cool. Especially if the light kind of come out like right there. That would be perfect for where the light go. And then I got to get a staircase that goes up and whatnot. So yeah, we got a bit of work to do. I'm going to do this backsplash off camera in cobblestone. And I will be back in just a moment. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I put spruce up here. And as you can see, I've got the um, wood going all the way down, and then it just kind of continues the pattern of this here. And I put the cobblestone, and I think it came out quite good. I do. It gives it a nice little flavor. I'm keeping with the eye, eye style right there, and I think it, I think it really does come out quite nice. Now I can come up here, hang out in my hot tub, go for a nice little swim, and just come back in dry off and I wonder do I even want anything to go back here I don't know there there it's pretty close to the surface over there not so much over here over here I still got some room so in here is really where I need to go in order to I don't know how far down I can go before I pop out again but let's just let's just take a dig and see ah here we are so we can go at least about to here that's not bad. This is actually a good sized room right here. We're going to have to do probably some remodeling on the outside of it. But I do want to have a portal that hangs out right here as well. So this would be a good place for a portal. Okay guys, so it turns out Luke's hole is like right on the edge of my house. So I don't know how that's going to play out when I um, install the mines and stuff. Because I will want a staircase going down with the mines. And now where's my hole? I lost my hole, guys. Oh god, I know my hole's around here somewhere and it's starting to get dark and I want to at least cover it up. I lost my hole. That's horrible! My hole's gone! Somebody help me plug up my hole! Alright, I, I predict that this is about the amount of space I have to work with. I might be able to get a little bit more space above, but not too much more. Um, but this is actually still pretty good. This happens to be the um, staircase right here with the um, lamp that's right behind it. So I'm going to have to cover up this lamp. and Or at least use the lamp as a way to kind of create some extra glow in here. Because the, this is essentially how I'm getting my lights in here right now. But yeah, this isn't bad. This really is not bad. So what I'll probably do is put on a different kind of roof up here. And that will cover up all of this ugly, ugliness that you see here. And then I'll have to kind of figure out how I want to work this stuff out. So that way it's not as exposed as you see it there. But yeah, what's going in this room will be my portal. One, my portal is going to go here. And then two, the staircase down to the mines are actually going to go here as well. Unfortunately for me, I am about 70, 76 high. So it's going to be quite a staircase down to go all the way down to the very bottom. I'm going to go see essentially how far out this way I can go. I know there's another light out here. Where are you? There you are, light. Okay, good. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is about as big as I can get this room to be. I can't really get it much bigger except for maybe going that way a little ways because I will have some space right behind these stone bricks there to actually put some other stuff over that way. But no, no, this will actually work for what I'm looking for. Essentially, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a portal and I'm going to build a staircase going down. I almost want to have the staircase going down go right over here just to have an easy access, easy way to have it just drop all the way down, kind of like that. Um, and then over here, we can actually use this to use for our portal because this is actually a reasonable, reasonable size for a portal. Although the portal I want to build, I want it to be a 
specific style of portal. So actually, I can even stick it in the wall. Why, why don't I, right? The only problem with the portal that I've got in mind is I want it to be as circular as possible. So let's try this real quick with this. If I were to go with a circular portal, it would essentially look like this design right here. And as you can see, it does go out a little bit further than necessary. It's actually pretty big, darn pretty big, big portal. Anything smaller than this would not actually fit correctly. So this is what I want to try to get in in here somehow. And as you can see, I've got to step it down quite a bit because it's got to have at least one more block. Is it one more block? Yes, it is. It is one more block. It's got to go down one more block and then it's got to go in one block and then it's got to go across. So essentially you need one, two, three. It needs to go down at least three to fit right here. And actually this would be kind of a cool place to put a portal. I wonder what is right behind this. I may actually be able to get away with this by sticking the portal right here. I think I could do this. I think I could totally, totally get away with this and stick my portal like right there. That would be totally awesome. I just got to go down by three, unfortunately. And that's, that's unfortunately what's missing in here. Yeah, this is going to work out good. I'm going to have this big giant portal that I'm going to be able to walk in and out of. <laughs> and then I need a staircase to go down the mines. I could always do the staircase over here as well. I don't know. We'll see, we'll see what I think about that. All right, guys, stay tuned. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I have put a portal in. Essentially, it is a square. The inside portal is actually a square because you can't make a portal will be a circle shape, but I plan on making a circle shape. I only have two more pieces of obsidian, so that's not gonna quite work so well for me. But essentially all of this here, will all the cobblestone that you see going around it will actually be the portal itself. And I could, in theory, in order to hide some of those blocks there, I could always raise it up a little bit. And then of course I could knock out a small portion of the roof to make that fit a little bit better just so I'm not just so I'm not exposing the little bits of lines right there but then of course then I'll expose all of this right there so yeah what I'll probably end up doing is um doing this deco like a deco kind of thing going around the portal so it's not sticking out too much yeah so we'll see we'll see I have to go find myself some more obsidian I would totally silk touch it but I have this one here this will work for me so I gotta go find a place to find obsidian and I don't quite know where I can go for that. Looks like I'm going to go hunting. Stay tuned guys. Guys I just have to say future Christmas area. It's only October. Why does Christmas always have to keep coming early? That's just so annoying. Anyway so we are going to the end to mine obsidian. This is what Luke says is the best option because I guess they have obsidian pillars there and that's probably the easiest and probably most affordable way to do this. So, okay, onward to the strong, hello, obsidian, I see you. I think I will mind you. Okay, guys, I have taken two stacks of obsidian. Um, basically, these towers are just entirely made of obsidian, so I could just totally steal those. Um, these endermen are kind of creeping me out a bit, and I don't, I, I don't know what's going on there. I can't even see the top of that tower. I don't know what it is. What are they trying to do here? Maybe this is just to help them find their way or something. Who knows? Um, but yeah, Luke Zilla is out there doing his thing. He's building essentially an Enderman farm, which is a little ways out there. And all he's got is a single platform done. I know he's got a lot of work to do. As for me, I'm going to take these back. And somehow I don't know how I can jump in here again. Oh, wait, there's a step step right there so off we go okay that's funny i ended up at the wrong place that's the last place i slept apparently so i need to remedy that as soon as possible i don't think anyone played this game i've been trying to encourage people to play this thing this this darn game pretty much all day because people have been on and off all day and oh my god somebody actually played that's so great i don't need the arrows goodbye arrows i'm taking the four diamonds thank you very much I have plenty of use for these diamonds. Um, I could use my own enchantment table. That'd be kind of nice. I forgot how many diamonds I need for that. But um, yay, people are actually using the game. This is so great. I don't know what, what's in the system. But um, hopefully it's some good stuff. I 
wish I could totally see what's in there. But that's okay. Some good stuff here. This is awesome. And we're going to have to make some new awesome stuff with this diamond. I have a shovel and... Ooh, getting dark. I have a shovel and a pickaxe. So I'm all good there, at least in that regard. I don't even know what I'm saying. It's like almost midnight now. And, and that's what I get. But yeah, so I have a... Axe and a shovel now, and maybe I can make a diamond hoe. That would be nice. Why not? Make a diamond hoe. Okay, guys. In the nether, I've got to be around 241 and 398. Now, I'm going to light this up. Now, watch. It doesn't work on the circular portal, but it does work back there. It's supposed to work back there. Why is it not working? Oh, hello. Maybe if I take down the torch? There it goes. Now you see why I want to make a circular portal? It actually looks like a circle. And this is what I was trying to aim for. And if you notice, the portal actually sneaks up back there as well, which is actually exactly what I want. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to leave that lit. And I'm going to head to the nether now. I'm probably going to dump off a few more things that I've got in my pocket. And I'm going to try to find another portal that looks just like mine, but here actually instead. And by the way, these diamonds came out of that machine, yay. And I'm probably going to need some dirt just to form the portal, and I might as well take some extra. Now, I know my portal is going to be very, very close to Luxilla's portal. Is it going to get dark again? I've already got attacked by a creeper. A creeper actually blew a hole into my base, like right around here, which was no fun. But yeah, I'm going to take the Luke's portal. Oh my god, Luke, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you, dude? What is wrong with you? You just freaked the heck out of me and I'm getting attacked by enemies. I think he summoned another wither. Please don't tell me this is going to ruin our episode again, buddy. This is going to ruin our episode again. Why must he do this to us? Why, Luke? Guys, it turned out my portal is like, literally, this is where my portal is. However, this spot here apparently might conflict with this area right up in here. At least, it's, it's right on the other side of this. So I don't know how much upwards I can dig out. I may actually have to dig downwards in order to make my portal. But let, let's go ahead and see, because it's basically going to be everything this way. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it really did take out a good chunk of Virus's road. So I made a bunch of work zone detour things. And it basically says which way to go and how to get there. Basically, you just kind of go around like this and you will find your way back to the middle of Virus's path. And road work, it says. And so it does that in both directions. yippee ki -yay, yippee ki -yo. Anyway, so yes, this is how big my portal is going to be in the nether. I wanted it to be a big portal. I apologize for the inconvenience, virus. I apologize for the inconvenience, but there is no smaller portal than this one. Okay, everybody, here it goes. The portal is installed and it's ready to go. And here goes nothing. I kind of wonder if I want to raise it up one now that I think about it because it's circular and it just sinks into the ground. That's what makes it does the thing there. But oh well, it's going to be the same as the other one. There we go. We have a portal. Yay! This is, this is the defining moment. Let's see if we appear where we're supposed to be. This is excellent, guys. Now I don't have to rely on Luke for anything anymore in terms of his portal. I have my own distinct portal now. Hooray! Yeah, next project, I guess, is to fix what we did to Virus's area. I guess we could make it go over the portal. That wouldn't hurt, and it'd just have to be kind of a climb up and climb down. I don't know what, oh my god, mouse. I don't know what virus would say to that, but it's possible to do it that way, where we actually wouldn't hurt to do it that way for the entire thing, because then we would have a nice little theme there going on. You know, we would just walk in and there would be this nice little cavern, which would climb up and then go over and then come back down on the other side. That would be kind of cool. That would be kind of cool to actually find a way to make that work. 
Especially over this way. I don't know how to make that um, kind of climb there, but we'll have to figure that one out for another day. Um, in the meantime, I think I'm going to call it quit tonight. And I better put a sign on this so people know who this belongs to. Quite this way. Virus will. Ceiling work is in progress. I do apologize for the inconvenience this is going to cause you for a number of weeks, I guess. Um, but I plan on doing some redecorating over here just so that way maybe I'll make a glass glass overhang. That would be kind of cool. You can walk over my portal and you can see it every day. I don't know. But we'll see what I do with it. I do want to do something with the backdrop here and I will see what I could do with that as well. But this works. All right, guys, um, so definitely leave me a like, leave me a, a comment, and if you haven't already, please do subscribe for more content from the iCraft series, and definitely watch some of the other iCrafters. Watch Siggy since she just popped on, and we will see you all next time. Bye-bye. You know, the other thing I was thinking of is I could just totally approach this from the other side of the wall. And instead of having to be right here, I could just totally be on the other side. And then approach the whole area from that side. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Ah, oh, well, something to think about, right?